Hey guys, it's Stone W, and we're gonna do an unboxing of this American Red Cross Family First Aid Kit. This is a deluxe kit that comes with 120 pieces. So let's see what it has and see what we could do. Because I never really bought a first aid kit before, so I wanna get one for the family, leave it in the house, and also leave one in the car. So I bought myself one of these so I could see if I could, you know, probably replicate it later and make my own little first aid kit like how I normally do. Here is the list of stuff that it comes with. You can go ahead and pause the video or rewind the video if you want to see what the details is, but we want to open this up and you know test it out. Like I said, it's starting to become springtime and summertime, so I'm doing more hiking and outdoor stuff, but this will be really good just to keep in the house, you know, because it already has all the you know primary first aid stuff. You can probably add to it, which I plan to do a little later. It looks like it's sealed with a zip tie, so we'll get our trusty little knife and open the zip tie up. Oh, let's, let's go ahead and open it. I'm glad they actually zip tied it so that you know that it's not been tampered with. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this thing up. So opening it up, it looks like there's a pocket on the first side on, on the um, thing and it looks pretty easy. There's Velcro on the side. There is a card there too. Let's see if the card actually has anything. There's also our first aid book and guide, so that will be useful. That would be very, very useful. Let's pull this card out. I have a string I'm going to be putting more stuff in that pocket because it's actually a pocket. First aid for minor wounds. Oh, it's only one-sided. Oh, I guess you don't have to really take it out of that clear, clear part then. You can still read it. Customize your kit. This kit allows you to add supplies. I think I will because, you know, there's not that much here. We'll, we'll take a look at it. But I like the fact that it comes with a first aid guide and a book on how to use this stuff, which I hope it does. I'll probably review this a little later. Let's go ahead and put this thing back in here. I like the fact that it's clear so I can actually see what's in the pocket. Um, but at the same time, looking at this, this is neat. It has pretty well divided stuff and it's on this little two ring binders and it's one sided. So I assume it, you know, so you can actually start Referencing the supplies on the other end. Let's go ahead and pull this out and see if there's any text on the other side too. I think this is a board. Yeah, there's no text on the other side. So, okay. Interesting. So they have the supplies and the other side, you know, has references to where to find out in the guide, which is cool. And on the other end, there's a, another utility um, pocket. That's clear. It looks like if they just bundled everything in there. Looks like a bunch of, uh, you know, gloves, examination gloves and some triangular bandages oh tweezers and a scissor there's also a card i think in there the tweezers are plastic tweezers i'm not sure why they didn't give you metal ones i usually have a metal one in my first aid kit that i made myself and there's a lot of other bandages and and stuff um tapes and also antiseptic pellets hydrocortisone packets aspirin tablets they're they're actually on the other ones but this is mostly bandages and stuff so this should be pretty cool. There's also a code pack and stuff. First aid guide, sterile gauze, um, knuckle fabric bandages, fingertip fabric bandages, empty bag apparently. I think that's where the scissor went. So there's a tiny little pair of scissors, pretty good, the angle scissors. Normally I have a much bigger pair of scissors, but this is at least good quality stuff. There's some uh, adhesive tape so you could bandage things up and it's all Velcro down so you can actually easily see it. Overall, not bad. It seems pretty, it has all the dressing and the gauze and stuff, and it looks pretty much like a pretty well set kit. So I think I will add like Neosporin, like uh, like a Neosporin and other stuff to this thing. I also probably add uh, some A5 uh, dividers or some uh, pockets that I'm gonna probably get uh, because this, I don't think it has enough. You could actually carry more stuff in here and I could probably add probably an R2 binder um, sleeves to this thing so I can carry more stuff. So very, very cool with zippers in. I noticed that since the binders are routed through the handles, I don't think it's going to be waterproof, but uh, yeah, I think that's not exactly how I would prefer it. I would prefer if the bag was waterproof so I don't get anything wet if I had to travel with this or I have to put it on my backpack or somewhere else. So there are some caveats to this and I'm glad I was able to, you know, unbox this and for you guys to watch this unboxing. So there you have it guys, family first aid kit. I guess you're supposed to keep this, you know, dry somewhere else. And, you know, can I just keep it in the truck or car or in your household? Anyways, thanks for watching guys. This is Stone W. I hope this review and unboxing was helpful to you. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. 
Anyways, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, hit the bell button for the Sony W channel. I do a lot of Costco runs, price checking, as well as new product finds. Anyways, there's also a lot of long-term reviews and updates, as well as other fun current reviews and stuff, as well as DIYs and how-to videos. So check out the channel and have fun. See you next time. Bye.